Hi, welcome to another Game Boys Real Awesome video, guys. Send you guys, and you see another episode of the Carbies, episode 52, which is just awesome. So, thank you guys for all coming along. Uh, thanks for all guys waiting and for this episode to come out. I only just really got a chance to making it, so I've been really busy recently. So, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, on this episode, there will be car boots that I've done last year that I've found some footage from last year. A couple of good finds that I forgot to put on the episode. Uh, and there will be some of what I did this year as well. Um, what else? I want to give a shout out as well to a lad who started doing car boot videos like myself. Um, it is Liam from 8-Bit Booter. You want to check out his channel. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Um, so check out 8 Big Booter, Liam. He's a great lad. Um, yeah, he's just he loves his spectrum, and he did a really good find last week as well. If you want to check out that, he got a pretty good find last week in his last episode. So, yep, check him out, help him out. He's already got quite a few subscribers already, which is awesome. He only started this year, so yeah, he's doing really good. So, yeah, I thought I might as well help him out as well and let you guys, if anyone else want to see anything different, any different sort of content around the area, different car boots, check out him. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. As well, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because I always let you know that you love the video and that you want me to do more and I will do more. I'm not stopping. But um, yeah, give it a thumbs up. That'd be great. And, uh, you know, whatever you want to say. Yeah, all good. So thanks, guys. Uh, another thing <laughs> I want to share as well. Thank you for all the subscribers I've been getting. I've been getting a few more and a few great comments. Uh, nearly got 2,000 subscribers, which is just mental. So I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who says has been supporting my channel and um yeah has been there been there from the start and coming in now it's just great so thank you guys and i'll uh, throw you the clips and i'll see you in a bit so the first thing i come across at this car boot guys is a bunch of gamecube games and there's some good ones in there as you can see zelda which is nice find so i'm gonna ask the guy in a minute how much he wants for these a couple of other games in there but um yeah we'll see how much the guy will, uh, wants for these so yeah i'll ask him now how much are you getting uh, All right. Needs unlocking, it does work. Yeah. Okay. You have to ring somebody, you have to ring somewhere, don't you, to unlock it. I don't know. I can't remember all the shit. I mean, How much you want for that as well? Um, three quid for that, mate. Alright. Um, right. take, take the lot, six pounds, the whole lot, six pounds. Okay, go ahead. I'll do that. Changes. So that was awesome for um, a great price of six quid for all those games. 50p each for a GameCube game, can't go wrong. And having Zelda in there, the first time I ever found Zelda on the GameCube. Uh, a few other games were, I weren't really interested in, but the DSi was pretty cool find. And a little, a few other games in that little case. I think there was Harry Potter in there. So that was really happy. I'm really happy of finding that. And uh, yeah, nice sort of find that year. So next door I come across, as you see is um a little bart simpson clock uh, i'll go ask the guy how much he wants for this in the sack how much is this two pound mate. two pound there you go thank you yeah. I see the guy wanted two pound for it. It's probably a bit high for what I really, but I, I ended up buying it because it was a cool little Bart Simpson. So yeah, I'd snatched him up.
Yeah. yeah sure. How much is this? Pound, mate. Oh, if you see one, go. Thank you. Not bad for a pound for a Ghostbuster gun thing from the real Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, I thought I'd grab that for a quip. How much are your games? Mm. What are these? A pound. A pound. Right, right, right. Any good here? Yeah? Yeah, that one, yeah. What have you got? PlayStation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah, very much. Thank you. Thanks. Not bad having that game. I've been needing that one for a while. And I have brought some games up before, but for a quid, can't go wrong with that, so. Does this come with the games as well? Or not? Yeah. Yeah. You got any change? Or, or? Yeah, thank you. That was a wicked price. Three quid for a DS and Pokemon Black version 2 and Yu-Gi-Oh! Not bad. Right guys, there we go. Um, just done the two car boots, my regulars, and yeah, I did a do well again, which is weird. It's mental. It's November and I'm finding some good stuff I guess still. And it's freezing cold at the moment. My car froze over earlier. Um, it's all brightening out now but um yeah i've uh, got some good bits again let's show you what i've got i might head back down there again but um to the other one but let's, i'll just go with what i thought i've got to get out of my bag first so uh hopefully i got some video i found a ghost busters toy thing um which was only a pound um sadly this is coming away and on the other side it's missing but i thought for a pound i very rarely find the original ghostbusters like the really old Ghost by Ghostbusters stuff. Um, the real, I think it's called the real Ghostbusters um, toys. Um, so, yeah, to find a, one of these gun things that they have for a pound, it's pretty cool. So I'm a clearance guy. He's there all the time. So here's the new stuff, new stock in today. So that was that. Um, and I found this as well. Hopefully I got in video. A nice little bar um, clock. I think I might keep this. I don't know. Really cool with a skateboard. I do like Simpsons, but um, I haven't watched it in a good while. I used to love it as a kid. Um, but for pounds, um, Bart's um, clock. You can see he goes, he's got a little, uh, his little clock there, and that. he probably talks when he, uh, and stuff. So that's pretty cool for pounds. Now, this was amazing. As you would have seen, that guy, he, I've actually bought things from him before. You know, he must be a clearance. I don't know what he is, but he's always got new things in every time, sometimes. So, yeah, I found some GameCube games, 50p each. Um, I got everything for the, everything here for six quid. So I got one, two, three, four, five. There's five games, that was, that was like, uh, would have been £2.50. And then there's a DS he had or DSi, he wanted three quid for that. So I got that as well. Um, and I got these, he threw me in some extra games for that as well for, 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 for six quid, which is awesome. So the first one, um i'll show you the best one thing so the first one i spotted uh, the first one I, it was like that when i spotted it and then i looked under that and it was zelda the case is pretty dirty and manky but um is complete 
So, Zelda, um, collector's edition, mint, or not mint, but uh, boxed. I don't know if it's got, I don't know, I didn't even check the disc. Um, yeah, that'll definitely play. Really awesome, guys. Really happy with that. Manual. Never found Zelda for the GameCube. And there's the first one to the collection. Uh, that's awesome. So, yes, it's got like uh, the originals on it. Um, awesome. So, really awesome about that. Really happy. Um, so, we've got 007. Uh, here you go. Is this one complete? Complete. With the manual and the receipt that someone bought it for from CEX, it says. The CEX receipt in there. How much did someone buy it for? Let's have a look. They bought it for three quid. And I bought it for 50p. Yeah, three quid, yeah. From CEX. So let's have a look at what, what year it was. When did they buy it? Was it a good while ago or was it a couple of years back? Uh, it's usually a date on these, isn't it? Right, like date. 2011, someone bought that for three quid. <laughs> Interesting, I'll keep it in there, you know, a bit of history. Um, another one here. Uh, complete. I've got this game already, it's probably going to be got rid of, I'm not really after these, but for GameCube games, you rarely find them. I've got this like so many times now um, for this console. This one's not complete, but look how filthy it is, it's fucking disgusting. And then we've got a SmackDown game or wrestling. It's not complete either, so the best one and it's complete, which I'm really happy about, is that one. The rest of these are probably going to get moved on. I keep that for my collection. Um, what else did I get from that guy? I got this. It actually put turns on, which is really cool. It says something about it's locked. How is it locked? I don't know. I don't think he knows what he's got. If it's locked, it wouldn't even go into the main into the main part. So I don't see how it's locked. So let's try a game. You would have heard him say that uh, it's locked. It's, you can move games as well. And I've got um, putting Harry Potter in there. How is this locked? It's not locked. It fucking turns on and plays. Don't know what it was on about. Um, yep, works. Which is awesome. Probably give that one to London if you've got that game, but she'll have a little go on that. So that was three quid for those. The lady there that I've seen a few times at uh, the car boot with um, PS1 games and stuff. Um, they used to be quite pricey, now they've gone down a bit. And that is um, Cool Borders. I picked up that because I, I was looking at my collection. I don't actually have Cool Borders 1, so which is weird. I've got number two and three and four, but I haven't got number one, so awesome to have that. Um, last thing would be the DS I just got a minute ago for three quid. I would have left it, but because it came with some good games, I uh, took it. So the DS, as I said, it said three quid but no charge. Um, it should work. And then I saw it had Pokemon Black version 2. Oh, on the floor now. Pokemon, Pokemon Black version 2, which is, um, I haven't actually got this game. And I don't know if, it, I don't know if it's a high price one. But uh, yeah, for that on its own is worth three quid. And then there was Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship. 2007 so yeah and a load of starlists I don't know why there are so many starlists in there and then the device itself so that was wicked let's try if let's see if Pokemon um, works in it works in the thing so let's try it out Pokemon you gotta sniff the balls right we can do this just um Checking anyone's around, no one's looking at, wondering what I'm doing. Because like, I've got full lines for awkward doing these. Let's see if it works. Yeah, boy. Working good, guys. 
Pokemon. Continue. Yeah, funny work him. Look what he's got in his Pokedex. You looking at? I don't know. Fuck knows what he's doing. Shit. I never, I never played this one before, so I haven't ever really played the Game Boy versions. But that's wicked. So really awesome with that, guys. I'll put that back in. Actually, put it all back here. So. I might go back to the car mute again just in case someone's brought some more stuff out. But that's what I've got now, so I'll see you guys, guys later. How much is that? Okay. Is there a pound for it or? Yeah. Thank you, so right guys, I'm back from going back to this first car boot. Uh, I did pick up some other bits. I picked up, as you've seen this game. Um, it's probably shit, but it just looked interesting. It's called Legend of of K of Key of K, sorry. So hopefully it could be good, it could be good shit. But I've never seen it before, some sort of uh, cat. With a sword and uh, fighting up things, even with Z. But for a quid, I thought I'd give it a go. And there was someone selling some DVDs and stuff, um, 10p each. And there was a game in there as well, which was 10p as well. So I picked up that just for 10p. I didn't get it on video though because I tried to turn it on and it didn't record, so for some reason. So the game I picked up, and that is for 10p, uh, um, Need for Speed Carbon. Pretty good game. I've uh, never played it on this console, but I played it on PlayStation 2 back in the day. So, yeah, it used to be quite good. So, I don't know what it's like on this system. And I saw a DVD that sounded interesting, which is that one there called um, Boys Eat Girl. Um, Boys Eat Eats Girl. Um, some sort of zombie film for 10p. And it's all completely. Um, I'd even check the disc in this. Even if it's fucked, for 10p it's worth it just for the show. Oh, just okay, sorry. But, yeah, perfect. So yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Um, not a bad little but a little find. I'm really happy with finding that Zelda. That Zelda is awesome. Just need to give it a good clean, and that's a wicked find. So that's gonna, definitely going to go into the collection. The rest of the stuff is probably going to be moved on and to make things. I'm probably going to keep the little, um, you know, Bart Simpson, and probably the other bits are going to go because I've already got the red DSi. Uh, probably, I think if the PS is the pink P DS works, I might keep that or not because I think I've actually got a pink DS already for the collection. So, yeah, we'll find out. And um, yeah, can't keep everything. I've got to buy stuff to make to get stuff I want, and then um, just fund other things. So, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I thanks thank you for coming along and watching, and uh, enjoying the videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for subbing as well. Really appreciate it. And thanks for liking and commenting and all that great stuff because I really appreciate all my all the all you guys giving me some good feedback and stuff and let you enjoy it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode and uh, yeah thanks a lot guys. Bye. Time for another car boot. This is last year's again. This is this car boot from last year and see what we can do here. Oh, classic. Fifty for that one. Just bought a game for 50p from this guy at Xbox One and now I'm going to go for all these PS2s, it's the same price, 50p as well. San Andreas. Again. <laughs> San Andreas, you know, three times of it. Good game though, so. Crazy vlog, true crime. God almighty. That's a sick game, that one. True crime, true crime. Well, that one has, but I'm still playing that. 
rugby and So I saw a bunch of Furbies and I'm, I'm going to ask how much she wants for these. Um, they're not in the best condition in the world but um, yeah as you know I was like picking them up because they're cool little items. I don't know you might think they're stupid but I like them so yes yeah, so ask how much these are. How much are your Furbies? It's two fifty. Thank you. Not too bad for 50p each, so I ended up grabbing those. They are a bit broken and that, but still 50p, not bad. All in there, yeah, all in there. Everything in there, the stand, the, the remote. Okay. You put everything in, plugs on the end of it. There's a um, 20 there. Put your that in there. Yeah. Can you manage that like that? It should be, I'll put it in my bag and see if it's it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks Cheers. I regret buying his PS3 off this guy now as it doesn't work and basically you plug it in, turn it on, it just comes on and then turns off again. What a dickhead, he ripped me off. Hi guys, so I just finished the car boot. Um, yeah, it's in November, near the end of November. I think it's November the... November the 27th. So hopefully you guys saw what I got today. I think one video didn't work. I, I thought I turned the camera on, it was literally pitch dark and it didn't go on. Um, so I showed you stuff I didn't get on video. I don't think I did anyway. I got an Xbox 360. Uh, I haven't actually got this one. This is the slimmer one and this is a 150 gig slash go one and it comes with the Halo 4. Um, it's not complete. Uh, I haven't, you know, I haven't actually got this one, so yeah, it looks quite cool. It's not complete, but um, I think it doesn't have a controller. It's anything I don't think it has. I don't know if it, if it's going to work, but it should work. But um, it's got the Xbox itself, which I've never seen this one before. It looks is pretty. Uh, it is pretty scratched up, but give it a, a bit of a clean um, and as you can see there so it's got yeah I've never seen some before that's what 360 nice and ready to go so box is in good condition but the lad must have kept the controller for it which controllers are you can get them quite cheap anyway now you find them at car boots but, um, it's got the cables in here um, but actually nothing to do with it actually this might be it I don't know some AV cable looks like some different kind of one what's this one for don't understand oh yeah, yeah I don't know it's got different connectors and we've got the power curve plug everything in there so all it's missing is the controller um, the, the, this is a bit knackered but yeah 15 quid I thought that was all right it went 20 quid at first I've got another 15 I might keep this or get rid of it I don't know but for that price I couldn't really leave it for that for that I've never seen this system before so I don't know what the price it goes for anything like that so we'll uh, find out um, I'll show you the games, the lab was selling the games for 50p each. Um, there wasn't anything there that I really wanted, but these are the ones I've got. So, oh, I, did pick it up. I didn't think I picked it up. I picked up um, World at War, which has got the first zombies in it. I, know, I, wasn't, I don't know what I've done with mine, so 
Oh shit. This disc is fucked, but it was 50p anyway. Probably will clean up at CEX or something if I take it in to get rid of it there. I don't know. Um, I don't even check the, the condition of these discs. Because they're so cheap, that one's fine. Um, Sense Row, which is cool. Um, Need for Speed, um, Hot Pursuit, Pursuit, and Sniper Elite, which is pretty cool. So, and then we've got some Wii games on them as well. So, yeah, we've got this one as well. We've got never seen this one before. And it is the Lord of the Rings War in the North. Um, maybe you can see that. I'm not going to show it because I'm. Everyone can see me, so I don't want them to think what the fuck you're doing. But um, so I'll show you the Wii games next. Wii games I got. I got um, Family Ski. Looked interesting, so Family Ski. Um, Harry Potter. Um, uh, was it? I don't know why I picked this up, but it was 50p. But that's probably why. Uh, Dance, just Dance 2. Uh, the land, the dog. The dog is is uh, what land or something? I don't know. Is land? I don't know. Looked interesting. So um, another game which I've got is Iron Man. Um, and the best one out of all of them, I think, is probably. Uh, Zelda um, this is that one so 50p for those not bad uh, actually there's one more game in here Halo 4 which is what comes with it so comes with the console should be good check the disc on this looks good to me um, And I've got a PS3 which you definitely would have seen hopefully. Uh, that was £19. I'm going to probably use this in my new house. Um, give it to my mum so she can use it for playing Blu-rays and stuff. We've got, we've got in here we've got some wires. Um, two pads. Two pads. Charger pad. Cables. Everything in there for £19. Um, there is no um, games with it um, and then I've got a load of Furbies which are these ones they're a bit loved but I got you would have seen I think it was four, five of them and that was it guys so that's my that's my find today I've got this from Amanda again Harry Potter some sort of I don't know some book sort of thing so yeah that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll uh see i'll see you all in the next one so see you a bit. let's go for some more car boots guys use some recent car boots i've done this year so let's get in some of these so the first thing i come across i find these weird pokemon lightsaber things are actually from the pokemon live um show that they did back in the 90s I've um, never seen it before. I had to do some research on these. Pretty quite, quite of like an obscure find. Not a sort of thing you find in the UK sort of all the time because they didn't never did it in the UK. The live tour, uh, like live show. So basically, they probably got these from America or wherever, wherever I don't know. But they're really cool. So I ask how much these are. How much are these? Are there pound, please? Yeah, yeah. Love that at your school, wouldn't you? Yeah, thank you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Three quid on that. Okay. I don't know if it's broken or not, but I probably need to check so I can put more on it if I know. Yeah. How do you get into that? What if we add to screwdriver there, I think. Oh, take yeah. it, take them, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I go along the stall and I see some toys on the floor here so I'll go have a little look 
I bought this is where I got the um, Crystal Xbox from before. And yeah, so let's have a look at this, see what he's got here today. I see if you bought awesome bits of toys, but nothing really I wanted. I was really happy getting those uh, Pokemon lightsaber things from Pokemon Live um, from the same store. I think they can combine stalls. So this next store I come across, guys, had a bunch of PlayStation One and some PlayStation Two games in the box. So I ended up having to dig through this. Uh, really happy of some of these titles I found here. Um, not bad little prices as well. So yeah, I just thought, you know, there's a few good titles there, you can see. There's one title there that I found, which is a skateboarding game. It's called Grind Session. Never heard of it, so I was really happy to find this game out there. And uh, I'm, I haven't actually got around to playing it yet, but I am definitely want to have a go on it soon. Because, uh, yeah, not a bad little find and uh, a new game to the collection. So, as I said, I want to try and collect all the extreme sort of BMX and skateboarding, all that sort of sport. Um, games. I want to try and give them a good, all, all a good little session because I like them sort of games anyway. So I pick up six that I'm after, um, all the quid each, which I thought was not bad, some good titles. Um, I wasn't going to get some other ones for good cases, but I ended up leaving some, so. Got six there. You got change for a ten? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Just found a copy of Mario DS. Case is a bit manky, but um, I'm going to cry and grab this and see what he wants for it. Spotted a blur CD. Uh, I was going to grab it. I did grab it, but um, yeah, I didn't realise there's actually a disc missing in there. So, a bit of a fail on me, but yeah. How much? How much is How much are you? Two pounds. Two pounds. Yeah. Thank you. 
Two pounds for them, not too bad, so I was happy at grabbing them for that price. Boxes. So everything in the boxes is 20p, can't go wrong, couple of games I found, so I'm happy. <laughs> found in a box, a Wii Remote, trying to look if it's in any good condition, but yeah, it looks pretty wrecked, so ended up leaving this as it had a crack in it and stuff, so yeah, not, not good. I've got, I've got these. Right. 20p items in the boxes. Thank you. Mate. Yeah. 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 Come across this store, see a DS and a few games, nothing great, didn't even ask how much they were um, because I wasn't even interested so I left it. Come across here, a uh, lady's got a few games in here, some nice ones but I wasn't really after them desperately and they wanted more than I would want to pay really at a car boot, but not, not too bad prices really. Uh, how much is how much is that? That one's two fifty. Two fifty. Uh, now you're about to see the most work the one of the probably the worst games I've seen at a car boot and they're trying to get to sell them. These games look okay here, but we've come across this one and it is completely wrecked. Look at it. It's like war water damage. It was the most disgusting game I've ever touched in my life. Spyro's even worse. Have a look at Spyro and oh I would have grabbed that but it was completely wrecked and oh, it was it was so grimy. <laughs> How much is your uh, 3D app? That one is 70 pounds. Oh, Alright. <laughs> Very expensive. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted that as well. I bought, new, I bought it for my kid, you know. The new one, it was 250 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So how, how much you want for this one? About 30. 30. Yeah. yeah. Alright, thank you. Well, quite a lot for the 3DS, but the original 3DS was not a bad price. Probably should have picked it up, but I left it. I see here, season plushies, very good condition ones. I was on my about getting them, but I ended up leaving them because I got so many of them at the moment. But they were a good price. I left them for someone else. How much are you? How much are these? Two pounds. They are the gas. Right. Away from the pensioners, yeah, that's that's no, 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 box is completely wrecked, there's no wires in there, no controller, so I ended up leaving this behind. Didn't even ask how much it was because it wasn't really worth um, even asking because I, I, I do want to get a box one but I want the box to be in a lot better condition than this one. Yeah. 
How much is it? Pound. Yeah. I know you didn't see what I got there, but I just got Football Mario for the Wii for a quid. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't have that game for my collection, so I'm really happy of finding it. Welcome to the pickups, guys. So today I did some pretty good pickups. Um, saw some things that I didn't get, might or not have got on video, and I didn't get because they're quite high. So the first thing I saw, which was a Game Boy SP, you wanted 15 quid for that, which I thought was a bit high for what I wanted to pay. So I left it. Uh, I think it was 15 quid. I didn't really hear what you said because I had my headphones on. Um, might have misheard him, but it's still there for a good while, and it's still there now probably. Uh, I saw a GameCube boxed. Box was a bit battered. Had the wrong pad in it, like a third party pad. Might have not got that on video. Saw a Amiga 500 Plus a boxed. Missed out on that. Um, what else? That's pretty much it, really. Um, so I'll show you the first things I got. I got just a box and that for the, for the Mario Kart. Um, reason why I got this as well, because I think mine is actually missing that. Um, the insert I'm not sure but uh, for £1.50 it's not bad for just the box um, this was a good find I found this in a bunch of uh, in a resale or not resale like a clearance guy it's a bit bit filthy but Mario Kart it's the original games just the case is a bit dirty horrible but the games in there which is which is always great to see so the games in there no manual but for a quid can't go wrong with that this was the last find I found, last find of the day. Um, it is filthy, it's a clean up nicely, hopefully. And that is Mario Football um, for the Wii. It's filthy as hell, but for a quid, boxed and complete. Hopefully, I can clean it up. The disc isn't too bad on it, so. Next up, I've got these weird things. I don't know what the hell they look like lightsabers for Pokemon, I don't know. I don't know what the year they're from, but they look pretty, pretty cool. Um, quid each. Merit was it Pokemon catch them all live so yeah some sort of weird don't know, lightsaber thing I don't know what it does but doesn't oh yeah these are old these are from 1999 um, so yeah old things never seen them before so got two of them um, PS1 games which I've got some games that I haven't got and I thought some games I could maybe move on. A game that I've been wanting to get back. Well I've got it but I haven't got it um, complete or with the, with the case so there's uh, this one. No fear downhill mountain bike right, mountain biking. It's, it's not bad but um, yeah. It's got the manual in that. Good condition. Not too bad. Um, it's getting really hot in here now. Um, Tarzan, all complete, platinum edition. Great game to pick up. I've got it already. Um, Atari, which I've already got this one, um, but I thought it's known sort of really hardly hardly see this one around. So quid for that. Not bad. And a game that I've never seen. It's another um, like Tony Hawk sort of clone game. I've not got this one for the collection, so I'm really happy to have this because I want to get all the all these like extreme game ones and like you know, bit game BMX and skateboard, and that's this one. Um, so, grind session. Um, never heard of it, never seen it before. So yeah, to give it a try and see what it's like. It's not going to beat the Tony Yorks, but yeah. Twenty p. I got um. um GT4, so Grand from Ismo 4, complete for 20p. I haven't got that one, so not bad. Couple of CDs. Um, best, best of um, Blur, which is Blur's great, and I found a Batman Forever um, CD, so I thought 
Yeah, 20, 20p, not bad, or whatever it was. Um, this I found, uh, last week I found one of these. This one is like, looks like it's in a bit of better condition. Well, it might work, I don't know, but for quid, I can't go wrong. Um, and I found this, randomly. It was They were giving things away. It's like a bit of, just, it looked quite good to stick on the wall or something, but it's like from the base set too. Pokemon cards, always fun. So that's that, and what else did I get? There's anything else in here? There's my coat in here. A couple more games in here that I got. A racing game, looked interesting. I think I used to have this game. That was that one. And then, last but not least, I got Space Invaders, which was quid as well. I think that's it. I think that's everything I've got now. Yeah, that's everything. I didn't get a lot of great stuff, but I got some okay bits, which I was happy with. So, yeah, that's my pickups today, guys. I've got some games for once, which I'm really happy with, and some games that I actually need for the collection. So, really happy. Um, yeah, thanks, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye. Welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Got a few cool things I'm really happy with. Um, Especially that uh, when I got our one last year, that DS pink DS with three quid with black version two uh, Pokemon, which is wicked, and it came with a Digi not Digimon uh, Yu-Gi-Oh game. Um, yeah, not a bad find that wasn't a really good, really good find. Xbox wasn't too bad, but I didn't get it on video, so I only saw it in pickup. But yeah, a few cool things, pretty happy with, and I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. Enjoy the video. And uh, please give it a big thumbs up as always, as I said already. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'll try and get my hardest to do another one quicker. Um, it's just I'm busy recently. I just, you know, it's hard to get around to doing them. Um, but yeah, I'll do one as fast as I can next time. And um, um, as well, if you want to like be updated with the new car videos, um, go to my channel, go to my Facebook page. Just go on, I'll put it in the link to the description. Just Game Boys are awesome, Facebook. And I always post up there when I'm starting to make a new video. Or I'll just do an announcement letting you guys know I'm starting to make one. Or um, when it's going to be uploaded. Or, or if it's uploading now, I'll let you guys know. So then you'll be more informed when it's going to be up. And it won't be too much like, oh, what is he just stop doing them or whatever. So, yeah, if you want to be more up to date, check out my Facebook page. That's why I give all my announcements and just let you guys make updates and stuff. So... Yep, thank you guys, and I hope you really enjoyed the channel. I uh, hope you really enjoyed the video as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys, you're all amazing. And yeah, see you in a bit.